Okay. All right, so now we want to start breaking down his posture. Now, the thing for this is I want to start getting the use of grapevines. Now, this is something that not a ton of people use. And, and trust me, you're going to have a lot of questions about the upper body stuff. The rest of the DVDs, it's going to be really focused on that. I promise. But I haven't even got the hip motion yet. The legs are super important here. So what happens, you start getting here and he's posturing. He's getting strong. I mean, I gotta be careful about my, my legs. The thing I do have advantage of is grapes, okay? So I'm gonna hook, and now when I hook here, I wanna flex my feet up, and a lot of guys are out like this. This is like the prom night, if you wanna get laid, okay? No, you wanna pinch. I want him to feel my legs. In the guard, your legs don't relax. That's a misconception. It's not a resting position. It's a winning position. You gotta start changing your mind about all that. When I get my grapes, I'm flexing here, and he's gonna say, no, I'm not being broken down. So I'm taller, so sometimes I have to scoot back a little bit, but if you're a smaller guy, I mean, I'm 6'4", you shouldn't have to do that. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna start using that to break them down. Okay, so, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I can hurt the knees. Yes. Okay, so I'm able to break his posture with my legs, with, uh, with grapevines, okay? Now, I can do a single grapevine, or I can do double. It depends what you're doing. And a grapevine turns to a butterfly, perfect. It comes in so smooth. But now we're transferring to an open guard, that would be later, okay? So, I can use a single grapevine. So I might be here, I just want him to get on a certain hip, well, I want to break them down. So I bust out one side, and now this other leg is free. This way they could be free. I'm free. I turned him. He's on one hip. I might want to bust him out, sit up, look for my attacks. So I could be here, we're playing, and I'm working my guard, and I'm just like, fuck, this guy, I cannot get this guy down. He's hand fighting me to death. He's like, man, this guy's good. I try to bring him forward, and I start, okay, now, now he's down. All right, now I feel good, okay? So, we haven't got to hip motion yet, but learning how to use these legs is something I never see taught. And I learned this stuff from a catch wrestler. That's the ironic part. So when you're here, learn to use your legs. Curl, think, hey, if he moves back, are my legs tight enough to keep him from going free? when he's sweating. Can I slow him down? My foot on the hip, is that really working enough to keep him from slamming in to counter my attack? Or, I can't win the upper body attacks, I'll use the butterflies to break him down. I mean my grapevines. Or a single. I need to get his hand on the mat, one grapevine, there's his wrist. Okay? I'm doing this with my legs. Okay? So, whether he's here, Moving backwards, posturing, he's even coming here. Your leg and force control should be slowing that down or countering it. So when he goes to try to move back, it slows down. When he tries to stack, he crawls. If he tries to posture, he's broken back down. So now he doesn't want to posture. All being done with my legs while my hands do something different at the same time and gel my attacks. Okay, that's some of the basics for leg and foot control, or foot and leg control, whatever you want to call it. The next would be hip motion.